Hey everybody, good Sunday morning. Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Update to the forecast. Uh, over the last 36 hours, the trend for some storms today has increased a little bit. In fact, we've even got a little shower popping up this morning. I'm going to show you the overall view, but I want to zoom in first and see, yeah, we got a little shower action moving across the Piedmont right now. We're likely going to see more of this today. And the reason this is happening is remember that front that came through that gave us some great relief? I mean, Saturday was a really nice day lower dew point air but you can see this stalled boundary and some low pressure systems this is starting to drift north and this is going to force scattered thunderstorms to develop across a big chunk of our area during the afternoon hours i'm going to turn the satellite data off here for a second and i'm going to turn on the severe weather outlook it's not a huge risk but we're now in a pretty big area of low risk for isolated strong to severe storms these are still going to be really scattered but just a heads up if you have outdoor activity today you're going to run into some of these pop-up storms so let's take a look at that future cast and here we go with the future cast so if you pop up uh, showers i wouldn't say there's storms yet i'm not seeing a lot of lightning but definitely some showers this morning this afternoon these become more scattered thunder showers um, and maybe even some brief heavy downpours so you get the idea uh, you have to have a plan for rain today because there's a chance you're going to run into one of these pop-up storms pretty good little a batch there and then some across the Piedmont more isolated. Look at the time there. This is three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. So yeah, pretty good clusters of storms moving across through the evening hours, nine o'clock, they're still around. So I would definitely have a plan for rain today. These could be really, really heavy and there could be multiple waves of these scattered storms moving through. And it's all thanks to that old boundary to the south and area of low pressure. You kind of see it moving up the coast here. That's gonna help drive these thunderstorms. Thankfully, it's not even further north, it'd be even wetter, but the fact that that low is tracking like this, it's throwing moisture back inland, and then the front's helping to kick it off. So you can kind of see there, I'll loop this a couple of times as we go into the afternoon. So just a word of caution, if you're heading to the lake, the pool today, maybe gonna mow the grass like I'm gonna try to do, gotta try to get it in between some of these isolated showers and storms because we certainly are gonna see some. I'll go hour by hour again, I think three o'clock is when they really perk up. There could be some around before that, but I think three o'clock and beyond, things get pretty active, especially into the evening hours with those scattered storms. Have a great Sunday. I'll post updates if anything goes severe or we we'll see a watch issue, anything like that. Not anticipating that because they're not going to be that widespread, but it doesn't mean one or two couldn't pop up and produce maybe some gusty wind, some small hail. But the lightning and heavy rain is likely going to be the biggest issue. But this time of year, remember, almost every thunderstorm has the potential to produce a downburst. So uh, outdoor activities, if you have temporary structures like tents, trampolines, bouncy houses, those kind of things, Make sure they're secured, or if you see a storm coming, start taking those things down.